2023 is one of the best years of my personal life. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Oh, the aviary looks so good. And RJ is hard at work. Look at how RJ totally saved the centerpiece. Look at how beautiful that looks. Do you guys see that? So we removed all the plants that were down there. He bought these like flattish sort of bean shaped pots, large. And now he's just filling it with a bunch of plants. And that looks so much better. These are plants that he bought in Tagaytay yesterday. It took him the whole day. And this really saves. I'm like, RJ, please save my center. <laughs> save the center um, piece. So he's working on that now. Um, he also bought a large pot for that tree and the tree is loving it right now. I can tell just by the shape of the leaves. And guys, the birds are up. Who is that? Who's that beautiful? Is that Adonis? Oh, Adonis made it to the second level. OMG, that looks so beautiful there. <gasps> so nice. Oh no, that's not Adonis. That is Mojo up there. Adonis is right there. Good morning, birds. Guys, guess where the birds slept? They slept in the cage and on top of the cage. They know to go back to the cage for fun. Um, we're gonna have to remove their seeds this morning. And look, they're totally not afraid of RJ being so close. They're used to us humans being around and not bothering them. Um, we're gonna have to feed them their veggie mix this morning. An egg, hard boiled egg. But oh, this looks so much better now, this centerpiece. I, I'm glad we removed a lot of the old. It, it's smaller now. It's cuter. It's multifaceted. From the kitchen, this angle looks so gorgeous. It all looks so pretty. Wow. Such a nice arrangement. See, we needed a bit of red. We bought new plants to line the bottom of these planters. Listen to their morning chirps and sounds. <laughs> it's so cute. Hi Mojo, are you gonna jump to the top again? You gonna fly to the top? I think he is. He's like, how do I get up there again? How are ya? You guys are like hummingbirds the way you fly. And I know it's because you guys have lived in a cage your whole lives, but it's cool. I love the way hummingbirds fly. And right now they're pecking. I'll go get your veggies. Some of them camouflage quite well. Like, see that? And I love how the society finches kind of stick together with their funny hairstyles. There's the java finch. Don't worry, we've got java finches coming. And you, Sir uh, Adonis, we've got more golden finches coming. And where is the owl finch? Where is he? Where's the owl finch? Anyway, we've got owl finches coming as well. We ordered more last night because this flock needs to be bigger. Wow, exploratory flight all around. Yay. So this we're gonna cut to size because it's too long. We're gonna hide it, sneak it through here, and we're gonna silicone this so that it doesn't leak. Um, we tried to look for a black hose, but our hardware store didn't have black, so we might paint it, we're not sure. But we do have to hide this somehow. We might have to get a long plant that can like extend up here. Oh, there's the owl finch right there in the middle with his blue face. Hi there. You're gonna have a whole flock coming in soon and a bunch of Goldians coming. Yay. I wonder if I'll be able to tell, you know, Adonis and Mojo from the Goldians that are coming. See guys, these birds are so calm even though I'm so close. Hi. And it's only the first day, so I think in time they will learn, learn that I'm a friend. <laughs> All right, secured another orchid. RJ got another orchid because we loved the way this orchid looks here, sticking out of this driftwood perch. Um, and clearly the birds love the perches. Hi Adonis, you checking out our stuff? All right, more birds are way up there now which is great. They're up on second level. I think today a lot more will be making it to the top. Oh, one of the birds is checking out the pond. Is it going to bathe? 
I think it wants to. Go ahead. That's what it's for, for you to bathe. Don't be shy. I also love the plants we were able to add here. See, red, there's oxalis in there. Even gabi, see? This is uh, taro and that bordering this beautiful tree is perfect. And there's a lot of room for roots too, so should do well. Also, RJ managed to find a snake plant, this cool, weird looking plant that he loved in Tagaytay. He found a cheaper, a cheaper supplier. So we've hung it right here, right on the side. All right, because it's morning, they're gonna have their healthy, uh, fresh salad. Um, there's a little bit of a uh, mashed egg in there too. Here guys, here you go. Mmm, yummy. Go, go, go. Enjoy. They're certainly curious. Nice and colorful. Hopefully it stimulates them. Stimulates their appetite. I actually should be removing the seeds. Because um, they will just default to eating whatever they're comfortable with. I really want to encourage them to eat their veggies and egg. There we go. Mmm. Yummy. Awesome. Good job, Society Finch. Now the rest will probably follow suit. Go ahead, Adonis. It's delicious. We prepared it with love. It's what our parrots eat too. And there's Mojo. Mojo and this bird here, this zebra finch. Hi there, welcome to the second floor. OMG Mabuhai Squad, the birds look so peaceful up there. A lot of them now are on the second floor and they are loving the perching locations. They're singing, they're sunbathing, it's perfect. Guess what guys, look who arrived. Hi guys, welcome to the Gaviary. <laughs> It's so weird how we call it the Gaviary. Um, by the way, if you're new to these vlogs, this here is an all-male aviary because it's, uh, well, it's all males. No breeding happening here. Hi, guys. Oh, you look so beautiful, you guys. <gasps> Goldian finches are gorgeous. And there are the owl finches. Oh. Our owl finch is gonna be so happy that he's got fr friends finally. All right, here we go. Gonna release you guys. Don't worry. Go. Go ahead. Go, Goldians. Feel free. Fly. Fly. Fly into your new home. All right. Okay, so Goldians released. First round of them anyway. Second round of Goldians. Go, fly. Fly. Go! Enjoy your gaviary. Go! One more. One's left. Go ahead! Don't be scared. Look at them flying around, guys. Exploratory happening right here. Okay, seriously, this one wants to stay. Okay, I'll get back to you. And then the owls. Ready, owls? Go! Fly! Enjoy! Enjoy your gaviary. Okay, you, my friend, are the last one. Go. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Come on. Yep. Go, go, go. You could do it. Yes. There you go. Go. Oh my gosh. Why are you... There he goes. There he goes. Flying around. Awesome. Hi there. <laughs> Look at them. They are exploring. Oh my goodness, they look so good, all of them flying around. They look like fairies. That right there I think is Mojo. He's like, hey, more of me. Look at this Goldian Finch. He likes that snake plant thing. So cute. Guys, look at this one. It's sleeping in the shadows of a plant. How adorable. See, now I can't tell if these Birds are the ones we've named. Are you Mojo? No, I don't think so. You look different. Oh, this one looks so cute. You look so cute there. 
You perfectly match this plant. Love it. Look. <laughs> the colors. Yay! A bunch of them made it to the top. Awesome. Good job, birds. Looks like we have a group meeting happening here. The owl <laughs> finches and the goldian. Okay, that looks like Mojo maybe. Guys, let's see them. Oh, sweet. Hi, guys. I see a zebra finch, a bunch of... Oh, the society finches made it up here. Awesome. Hi, guys. I'm sure you guys are mind blown. It's so cool to see them flying around. I mean, this is most likely the biggest space they've ever known in their entire lives. And they're getting some good sun up here. This is just perfect. Hi, guys. Come up here. You'll love it up here. Promise. I am so glad we went with the half inch gauge. I mean, the half inch spacing for the mesh because had we gone with the one inch spacing, we probably might not have been able to have finches because, I mean, they might, really small individuals might be able to fit through, I don't know. But this mesh here is just perfect. OMG guys, just notice this. RJ had been working on this. This here is a beautiful centerpiece. This pot has been empty for the past week and I've been waiting to see what RJ was gonna fill it with. And it's the sticks that we had ordered that <laughs> when it arrived, if you've seen the previous vlogs, it smelled like horse poo. It's been in the sun now for like a week or two and it doesn't smell like horse poo anymore. I see the vision now. Look how beautiful that looks, see? It's so grand. It nicely decorates this nativity corner. Ooh, and look at this. It looks like more sticks and golden, I don't know, wheat? So festive. Guys, we're still in the festive cheer. It's gonna be New Year soon. Sorry, you guys might be watching this in the new year, and if you are, Happy New Year. Um, currently, we are still in 2023 here. Gosh, the aviary is looking so cool from here. And I love that I can still bird watch. So for those of you who follow the vlogs, um, you guys know that this used to be a parrot aviary, but um, we've moved the parrots outside. We'll be going there in a sec. Um, because one, I wanted them to have a longer aviary as opposed to a taller aviary uh, because I knew it would be better for the parrots. And also, the parrots were destroying all the plants I would put inside and trees and stuff and decor. So um, couldn't decorate the aviary as lush as I really wanted it. Like this was more along the lines of what I had planned like while we were building our home and had this aviary built, this was pretty much what I envisioned. Um, but the parrots kind of were destroying things and it was getting expensive replacing all the plants that they, you know, would destroy. So I uh, moved them out there and turned this into a songbird aviary. And uh, the thing that I find really cool and different now that it's a songbird aviary is that it's kind of like you have to use your eyes it's not really a where's waldo but you'll see little micro scenes happening here and there in little pockets of the aviary where you'll see like birds communicating and birds um flocking together in certain spots birds sleeping see you kind of have to use your eyes and you'll catch these really beautiful moments of the birds here and there. Um, whereas when the parrots were there, you would immediately see the parrots. Like there was just no mistaking where they were and what they were doing. Whereas here it's kind of like, you kind of have to use your eyes and you can catch these really beautiful candid moments of the birds. All right guys, so the pond is completely fixed. I've created a makeshift filter for the fish inside. That's gonna continue to cycle. And the tube has been hidden and siliconed in place. See, we'll probably put a large plant to further hide that. 
and this wire will be removed once this is completely dry. But yeah, oh, it's looking mighty nice and cute, this pond. What do you guys think? See? From all sides, it looks really beautiful. We're going to continue to beautify this pond with maybe more aquatic plants. Um, going to probably add black gravel at the bottom. But I am so happy with it. I, I just know the birds will start bathing in it at some point. I might add a, like rock islands in each so that it's more shallow and it'll further encourage the birds to bathe. We'll see. There you go, guys. That is the pond. The newly revamped pond. Oh, go ahead. That white one keeps visiting the pond. Go, go bathe. You can do it. Don't be shy. Okay guys, so it's nighttime and I just received the box of our diamond doves. Now, I don't know if I should just let them spend the night in this box or if I should like release them because it's nighttime. How about I release them? I'm going to try because I don't know if they can spend the night in this box, like no food or water. They're really feisty. They're moving around in the box already. I don't exactly know how many he's ordered to. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. There they are. Hi guys. Hi. Okay, I'll just open this. So you guys, oops, can go, oh, oh, there he goes, there goes one, oh, <laughs> not very good at flying. There are four little diamond doves here. Hi guys. Okay, feel free to sleep. I'll just leave this right here. You guys can come out on your own. The other one landed safely down there. I think he'll be okay. Okay, the other one flew and landed right here. <laughs> At the LC and everybody's watching. Didn't bang into the glass. I think they can see these stickers. But fell, she wasn't sure where to perch. You can perch anywhere here. Oops, okay. See, watch. She doesn't know where to fly. Oh, okay, she flew into the tree, good. Why am I saying she? It's a he. Sorry, these birds are very frail and <laughs> feminine looking, but these are all male. Um, okay, so there are two more in the box. I'll just let them fly out as they wish. They're so tiny. So these diamond doves are a really small species in the pigeon family or the dove family. Hi there. Look at the orange around the eyes. You're so cute. Welcome to the Gaviary. The other one is way down there, but he's okay. Okay, there's the other one. The one that was way back there. It flew right there. Hi there, buddy. Welcome to the Gaviary. <laughs> it's so funny saying it. Welcome to your new aviary. Let me just... Careful, oops. There goes. There goes the other one, also into that tree, oh, touching the glass, and on the floor. There you go. Hi there, buddy. Hi. You are so beautiful. Look at those white spots. Okay, for real, I'm just going to let you fly out on your own. There's the other diamond dove. You were touching the window, huh? You see, didn't fly directly into the window. Just kind of like touched it with its claws, I guess. It could see the stickers. Some of the birds are just checking out the ground. Oh, drinking already, I see. Oh, they must be thirsty. They're so cute. Look at it. It is such a pigeon, but it's literally tiny, like the size of, I don't know, like a budgie, it's very small. It's hilarious watching them walk around. 
Are you gonna poop all over the aviary? Oh my gosh, guys. One finch just landed right by my foot. These finches are starting to get really comfortable. Oh my gosh, and so did an owl finch. Hi there. Oh, you guys are so close to me. <gasps> Mabuhai squad, I already know that these birds, we will get them to land on us sooner or later. I mean, look at how close it is to me, guys. It willingly flew to me. That... <laughs> And it's only been like the second day. And I don't know if this is like one of the new ones or like the old, the old owl finch, but they're warming up pretty fast. But it is cool to see that the diamond doves are totally chill with having all these kinds of birds around. The final one came out. It's flying. It's looking for a perch. There, landed right on the windowsill there. All right, so I guess I can remove this box now. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. How you doing? Did you sleep well? And good morning to this owl finch who came flying down when he saw me here. They are very proficient now at flying up. Look, they're all up there. Oh, even the diamond dove. See, there's a diamond dove clinging onto the side. Um, and a whole bunch of finches are also up there enjoying the space and the views. Like, a lot of these birds grew up in indoor aviaries, so I think them seeing the outdoors is pretty mind blowing for them. Oh, cool. The. Diamond Dove found that perch up there. That's cool. We have to try to add more perches up there for the birds, I think. I swear, this bird here is looking at me. He's curious. If I go over there, will you fly away? I mean, I think over time the birds, like I said, will just learn that we humans are friends. Look at these two birds trying to destroy the wood. Just like my parrots. But... They don't have the beaks to truly destroy wood. Such beautiful birds, these Goldian finches. Guys, which finches are your favorite? Goldian? Zebra? What is that flying around? I think that's a zebra. The society finches with their funny hairstyles? Or the diamond doves? Or the owl finches? I think they look cool too. Oh, speaking of diamond doves, there's one. They are so tiny. And I love the orange ring around their eyes and the little speckles on their wings. There it goes. Sorry, they're very shy though. Oh my gosh, guys. I think one of the birds is building a nest. I totally saw one of the birds carry a piece of like long straw into there. Why is it building a nest? There are no females here. Or maybe he's trying to attract a female? This will be interesting. Like, I see him moving around there. Watch, like, see? See? There's, like, movement there. He's kind of arranging different twigs and sticks. <laughs> he's building a nest. This is gonna be so cool. Guys, RJ's family's here. Hello! <laughs> They're all here from Pangasinan. There's 29 of them all here. Just enjoying the home they're eating now. Hello po. Um, even RJ's parents are, well, they're in the bedroom, I think. Hi, Blue. Hello. There's Blue. Yep, yeah, thank you. There's uh, Jane and Judith and Eddie. And guys, lots and lots of food. Yum. They're gonna spend New Year's here. See, we got our round fruits ready to go. Are you happy that your family's here? Yeah, it's my <laughs> first time to spend New Year for them, well, with them. Oh, good. Your first time? Yeah. To spend New Year's with your family? Oh, good. I'm happy right. they're here. They traveled a long way. Five hours, six hours. Six. And they spent the whole day swimming 
exploring the farmhouse, enjoying the aviary. It's awesome. Guys, it's like New Year's Eve. Um, and I'm out here on the side lot looking at the birds. See, here's the outdoor aviary. The birds are right here to greet. Um, the pheasants are walking around. There's the female. Oh no, that's the male. Where's the female? Female's way down there. But look at the aviary now. We've added like a lot of bushes and, and like places for the um, pheasants to hide. They go. They can go in there sometimes. I see them. RJ put my peppers out here. Um, I mean, the birds can eat those leaves and eat the peppers. Birds love peppers. But yeah, there's a, a lot more greenery now. We're going to fill these planters with plants. So the outdoor aviary also has lots of foliage. Also, look at this. Those will be feeders. So we're going to fill those with water and then put the bowls on top so ants don't get into their food because sometimes we find ants crawling up this to get theirs. So we're gonna try that. And those pots look really awesome. I miss you. I miss you guys in the house. All the finches are afraid of us. Yes, we miss you guys. I miss you landing on us. Man, look at them flying. When they're excited, they do laps. They go back and forth. It's really awesome to see. <laughs> this outdoor aviary was definitely a great choice for these birds. We got calamansi, which is, um, see, all of, all of this is calamansi. It's like a citrus, variegated calamansi. Calamansi again. See, it's planted all over. Yay! Hi there. Hi, Gabriella. Hi there. Oh, the pheasants are still very shy. Hey, this is Diefenbacher. Not allowed here. Toxic. I'm gonna... There's a lot there too. I'm gonna take them out right now. RJ's family's in the pool. There's RJ's mom <laughs> enjoying the pool. This is awesome. Love to see this. Oh my goodness. RJ just got back from buying flowers. And look at this. Wow. What... What is it? What even is this? I think it's deformed pineapple. Deformed pineapple? I think. I have never seen anything like it. And the vendor said... Oh, look at it. It's lucky for me, so... Oh, you and your like odd looking... RJ has an affinity, guys, for odd looking things. Love these flowers. They smell really good. But I swear, these little pineapple things are so weird. Deformed pineapples? Ew, it's a little odd. Isn't that strange? Have you guys seen this before? Mmm, but guys, it smells really good. This eucalyptus smells really, really good. Mmm. We're going all out for New Year's. Look at, this is so, so pretty, actually. Wow, flowers just everywhere. It's so weird. Hi birds, what's going on? Guys, there's always so much going on in this aviary. I'm never bored. Like while I'm working in the entertainment room, I just look through here and it's like live entertainment. There are always birds hanging out here. They're hanging out in the cage. Hi guys. They're up in the vines. And they're just so funny. Like look at this bird with his hairstyle. It's grooming time, I guess, for the society finches. I do also notice that the birds are nest building. Look at them, tearing up the Spanish moss, and then they're gonna bring it into the ferns, and then they build, they're building a nest, guys. A nest for who? This is a gaviary. Okay, watch, watch, watch this. Okay, he's flying, flying, he's right there. Where is he going with that huge thing? See? That's where they're... He's making a nest. Oh, wait a sec. Did he just give... That to, like... Another male? Oh my gosh, the birds are gay for real! <laughs> oh wait. Is that an owl finch? Are you guys even crossbreeding? He gave... 
Okay, this is not making sense. So, a zebra finch, just, he's visiting the Spanish moss. He's getting like fibers from it. And then he's giving it to an owl finch who's making a nest. He's gonna give it. They're making a nest together. You guys are not even the same species. <laughs> and you're both male. I don't know what to think of this, Mabu High Squad. Okay guys, so I'm putting a sort of pot with hay. So I grabbed some hay that we usually have stashed for the bunnies. Grabbed it and I put it in this beautiful pot. Guys, feel free to pick at this beautiful pot of hay, which is cheaper than the Spanish moss, which is kind of expensive. <laughs> I would love to have that Spanish moss hanging there, sir. Please. I mean, you can use this hay, it's really cheap. Guys, the birds are really playful too, I've noticed. They'll just play in the plants, kind of like, they just hang out, they touch things with their claws, touch things with their beak. They literally just play all day. And where like a bunch of birds are gathered, it'll attract more birds they, because they're curious. They're like, okay, what's the commotion here? What's everyone so excited about here? Okay, and you're stringing my Spanish vine all over the place. This is now gonna grow there. The pond is looking really, really gorgeous. It's looking so nice. And strategically placed, because I wanted to gather chi energy, like I wanted to gather energy from the sun, the sky, pull it down into the heart of our house, and the it, all that positive energy from the sun flows through this pond and points directly to our bedroom, to our, to our bed where we sleep. So we can gather all of that positive energy from the sun. Even just standing here feels really, really good. Like, see, it just feels good. The aviary flows really, really beautifully. Like the energy in the aviary flows beautifully. I really love this new aviary makeover. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. <gasps> Bet I think this is one of your most beautiful tablescapes ever. Like, and the plates aren't even out yet. Okay, first of all, I still can't get over this, like, deformed pineapple. But look at this. Platform, gold platform, gold pomegranate, real pomegranate, paired with shell sphere. Wow. Um, then you have this beautiful piece here. And then look at this centerpiece. Wow. It's so gorgeous. And everything matches. Like, all these pieces really go well together. I mean, look. See? The colors really go so well together. But this is really... This is the 224 awesome. color. Huh? Oh, he says this is the t the official color of 2024. What's it called? Pantone? Or something like that? Yay, guys. It's working. They're grabbing my nesting material. They're grabbing the, the hay. Do I know birds or what? All right, guys. Final look. Look at the tablescape. It's like a deck of cards. Plates. Beautiful. Oh, man. We're ready now. And then this table here is for the kids. Look at Mangosteen. Mm. All the kids will be sitting here. Guys, look at the size of this rice cooker. It's massive. Look at how big. <laughs> Huge. RJ, your family comes prepared. Guys, lechon, rotisserie pig, all ready for New Year's festivities. Guys, this is a dish RJ had as a kid. What's it called? Kamansi. Kamansi. The name of the vegetable. It's a vegetable. But I saw them cooking it. It looks like a jackfruit, like yeah. a small jackfruit. And they cook it in coconut and it tastes really good. And anchovies. And anchovies. It's a salty dish. Guys, apparently RJ as a kid won an award. An award? A contest. 
a contest because he made a veggie burger using kamansi, using yeah. that fruit. I wonder what a veggie burger made of that tastes like. And congrats, babe. You're I'll so okay one day. I would love that. Okay, guys, so we're going to play games now. We're going to be playing the same game you guys saw in our Christmas vlog, but with RJ's family this time. So <laughs> everybody is excited to play. There's RJ's dad. And RJ's mom and all his siblings and their kids. And the kids are excited to play. They can't wait. Guys, I swear, this is the most beautiful tablescape I've ever seen RJ do. I don't know, there's something about it, guys. I don't know if it's like the pineapple that makes it really unique looking. It's like the Pantone with the cream, with the blue, right? And the pineapple, it just looks so cohesive and elegant. Bad. This was a this was a slam dunk. This. I wish we could keep this for months. <laughs> look at look at the look at the balls on the. So creative. Look at how fancy this kids table is. Nice and fancy. Now in Filipino tradition, you sh you should have 13 round fruits. Apparently, see. So we've got 13 round fruits as per Filipino tradition. I mean, we've got all kinds. We've got gold coins. See? It's supposed to be good luck. Guys, this year, I think, was the best, if not one of the best years of my life. So many things, guys. Just everything from start to finish. January 1st, this year, my family was here. My parents were here. They stayed in my house for the first time. Had so much family over. RJ and I did some awesome travel this year. And just a ton of milestones, like Almost Paradise, right? The, the Hollywood series I was part of came out. Ants Canada hit 5 million subs this year. Um, Ants Canada, by the way, is doing so well. I finally finished the video. This was the year that this vlogging channel, which is 7 years old or 8 years old now, it finally got some good viewership and thanks to you guys. So, yeah, like so many things. So many things, great memories, great food, so many new animals and pets welcoming to our home, a new aviary. Like, see, it just was so good. Our parrots, right? Their new home. And 2023 is one of the best years of my personal life. And you guys have all been part of it. Thank you so much for being part of our journey this year. And I look forward to more memories with you guys. In the new year, OMG, it's like less than three hours away, I think. Almost, okay, over three hours to 2024, wow. All right, so they're playing. The kids already got a lot of money, yay. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh. Wow, everybody's wearing red. Oh, because red is a good luck color. One. Go, go, go. <laughs> so little small kids can use their hands. Yay! Congrats. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Awesome. Guys, look at the food. Filipino style spaghetti. Hot dogs, marshmallows, salmon, shrimp, desserts. Look at that. Obviously, lechon laid out right here on the counter on banana leaves. More spaghetti. <laughs> the whole family is cooking. I love, like RJ is an amazing cook and I can see why. His whole family cooks. 
There's more desserts, Filipino desserts. This is yama cake. More desserts, fruit cake. Oh my gosh. Is this um, cake from, oh yeah, pat patisserie de chocolat. Yummy. And cool fact, the owner, the chef who owns this uh, patisserie de chocolat is from Calgary, Canada. He's Canadian. He moved to Philippines during pandemic and started a cake company. And it's doing so well now. Here's queso de bola, fil Filipino cheese. Awesome. Some steak, more shrimp. What is that? Fish balls? Yeah, lots of balls. Mm. And scallops are coming too. All right, everybody's eating. Eat, eat, eat. Mmm, oh my gosh. All this food looks so good. Kids table. Look at that. Mmm. I love how everyone's wearing red. So festive. And the adult table. Parents on the other side. Happy New Year. <laughs> and parents are also, like, grown-ups are there too. Mmm. Yeah, this food is so good. Guys, I've already started eating. The scallops are so good. Look at that. Mmm. Yeah. Scallops are delicious. Mm. My boy is one. This New Year's feast is by Mabuhay Stars. Mm. The lechon. Yum. Filipino style spaghetti. Mmm. Sweet. Okay, guys. It's time for this. Mmm. Guys, 11 minutes to 2024. Wow. All right, the kids are ready to catch the coins. We have a whole <laughs> bag of coins here. Cypher is shaking because of the fireworks outside. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! <laughs> oh man, the tradition continues. Look at RJ. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Sahara. Happy New Year, Sahara. Happy New Year, Sahara. Cypher's shaking. Happy he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, guys, one last game before everybody goes to sleep. <laughs> the kids are so excited. Inside these boxes, we've hidden like gifts, and the kids have to choose one to take for themselves. So there are 16 kids here, so we need 16 boxes. Go! Go! <laughs> One per person. Okay. Everybody. Okay. Okay. Open everyone. Oreos and snacks. Oh, yours has money. Everyone. Every every package has money. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah! Ah, this is a Good morning! Good morning, bird. Happy New Year! Oh, you got a little bald spot on the back of your head. Guys, here in the aviary, it's really looking so beautiful with all these birds. I love watching the Goldian finches. There's an owl finch, society finches up there, a Goldian finch sleeping by the hose. So cute. Our one Java finch. Don't worry, we're gonna get you a friend soon. This is one of the OGs. Our white and beige zebra finch. One of the doves down there. They love eating at ground level, these birds. Guys, there's always so much action in this aviary. Everywhere you turn, they're just birds flying everywhere doing things. It's so cute and entertaining. 
Yay! Our lady, our lady of the night is going to sprout soon. The most beautiful flowers. Awesome. Wow, look at the oxalis now, guys. Blooming. We got our Gabby here, our tarot. <laughs> the birds are like always looking at me, watching what I'm doing. Man, your feather quality is not so good, you. It's okay, you need a better diet. And that will all grow back. RJ says that our vine here is growing. There. If I can get, yeah. There we go. They will just climb. Go, 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 flowers. Wow, it's already grabbing onto this wood. This plant down here is really vining. Good morning, Mabu High Squad. So, it's January 1st, 2024. I hope you guys had a great new year last night. And I'm going to end the vlog now. I'm gonna spend time with and hang out here with RJ's family and stuff. And guys, it's been a blast going through new year with you guys. Another year, OMG. Um, a new aviary, new everything. So I wish you guys a happy new year. Um, and hope this year is full of blessings and joy and great memories and fruitfulness and abundance and lots of great things ahead uh, for all of you Mabu High Squad. Thank you so much for being part of our journey. And if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabu High Squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Love you guys so much. See you in the next vlog. Bye. Mm.